Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic learning curve. Friend, this is a very easy topic and um, I just decided to make a video on this topic learning curve and uh, I want to make a video in a very simple manner, very simple easy to understand video so that everyone can understand the topic in a very easy to understand manner. Friend, this is this topic is uh, you can say is not directly related to project management but basically it it can be helpful for you in project management also not only in project management it is it is a learning curve this term is a very general term and uh, which used in meetings in discussions and we talk about this topic uh, learning curve so i decided to make a video so everyone who is studying in project management or studying in universities so this term can be helpful for you to be very honest i am just making this video for uh, to just support to just uh, share my knowledge my thoughts about this topic learning curve so that it can be helpful for you either you are in university preparing for exams so this video can be very helpful for you to under understand the topic uh, learning curve also if you are a professional and working as a uh, project manager or any professional in uh, any organization so again this topic would be very helpful for you to understand the term learning curve and it can be helpful for you in your uh, professional life as well um, the purpose of making this video is just to share my knowledge my thoughts my experience with you and uh, uh, just want to explain the topic in a very easy to understand manner so that everyone can understand also i would request that if uh, if you understand the topic so please uh, share uh, the video with other friends as well uh, not because uh, it is my own video i just want to share my knowledge my thoughts with other people as well so that uh, knowledge can be spread and lo uh, people can understand the term easily and they can use the term in their practical life in their educational life easily uh, friend uh, the learning curve uh, is as a, is a topic it is not specific to project management uh, I, I can say that uh, it is not necessary that you see this topic in exam this is not necessary uh, maybe you don't see in this this topic in exam there is a high uh, there are high chances that you will not see this topic in uh, in the exam but this topic is still important uh, you have to you need to understand the term learning curve uh, so that you can understand it properly and use it in your life either you are a student or either you are a professional and working as a project manager or any professional in, in any organization so friends uh, first of all I would request to please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell option as well so let's start learning curve friend learning curve is basically just if you see from here it is a graphical representation it says that the time required to perform a task decreases as the task is repeated and the amount of improvement decreases as more units are produced in project management this theory is used for schedule and cost estimation uh, this was a just a definition let me try to explain you through some uh, professional experience or some knowledge for example friend uh, if you started as a, uh, if you started for example if you started as a uh, project manager in any organization this is your first job for example so first month will be very difficult uh, and second month will be more dif will be less difficult and third month will be less difficult but the most difficult part was the first day in any organization i'm just sharing my knowledge and my thoughts with you the first day in the first hour which you enter in any organization it is the most difficult and most critical uh, hour most uh, important hour in your life uh, as a profession why because you don't know anything about uh, about that organization their people their culture their uh, organizational assets so it is the most difficult time however uh, as the uh, time pass uh, time passes your experience your knowledge will be increased so with the passage of time your knowledge will be increasing and your craft your uh, you your experience will be increasing 
so if you talk about for example if we if you ask from any person who is who has for example three hour three years in any organization and you ask from him that uh, uh, what is the most difficult time the most difficult time was the time which you have spent at the starting of the organization at the starting when you start or when will you join the organization so friend i just want to inform you that whenever the time passes your uh, uh, your difficulty level will be decreased and uh, your uh, your experience will be increasing so it it basically says that the time required to perform a task decrease as the task is repeated so for example if you are working uh, if you are producing the scope document your responsibility was to write a scope document when the first time you start the writing the scope document it was very difficult to write a scope document when whenever you were uh, when when you was uh, first uh, first time you were writing the scope document but after once you write it for example 50 scope document you write it so after writing the 50 documents it is a very usual things becomes for you and now uh, now you can easily write it so that means as soon as the task repeated the uh, time required to perform a task will also be decreases are you are you getting my point for example uh, mm, try to understand from a very simple example when uh, when you were a child and you started to running a bicycle when you started when you try to uh, run this cycle first time it was very difficult for you it was very difficult for you when you were uh, riding a cycle first time but uh, once you repeat it tried it and uh, tried it multiple times so after some time like after uh, a few months it becomes so easy for you that you don't feel any difficulty to ride a cycle so this is called the concept of uh, learning curve learning curve says that the time required to perform a task decreases as the task is repeated and the amount of improvement decreases as more units are produced similarly <coughs> Uh, after some time if you still uh, the amount of improvement decrease start decreasing as more units are produced for example friend uh, uh, let me tell you that for example if uh, the same example uh, uh, if you are writing a scope document once you uh, when you were writing the scope document first time it was very difficult for you after 10 uh, writing this 10 scope documents it becomes easier for you T after 20 it's become very simple for you and you are saying that it is there is no difficulty after writing 100 scope documents there will be no improvement in the in the writing because uh, it's, it says that the amount of improvement decreases as more units are produced so after for example after writing 200 scope document there is a zero percent improvement because there is no uh, room for improvement so that is called the concept of learning uh, curve it says that the time required to perform a task decreases as the task is repeated and the amount of improvement decreases as more units are produced so friend uh, just uh, imagine just remember the definition example of cycle riding in your uh, in your mind whenever we talk about learning curve similarly you can also remember the example of scope document writing to understand this term and the um, this is uh, this particular time that the amount of improvement decreases as more units are produced let me show you the example of learning curve this is the example of learning curve for example here on this axis uh, learning efforts or number of attempts and this is the performance units so, so it says if you see from here this is the learning curve so friend when we start like for example when we start the learning curve start increasing like when we are putting a number of attempts when the number of attempts are increasing performance units are also increasing are you uh, seeing the from there like when the number of attempts are increasing performance units are also increasing but after uh, 180 after 140 or 180 you can see the learning curve become stable 
learning curve become stable and it is not increasing from here so that is called the uh, referred point here which was saying that the amount of improvement decreases as more units are produced so you see from here after 140 180 the learning curve is not uh, uh, not increasing and after 200 or 300 it will start decreasing like this so this is called uh, this is uh, called an example of learning curve so friend i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot and that's all from my side uh, thank you